Saturday, the Forgotten Day. What a great title for today's devotional, as this title reminds us that the day in between Good Friday and Easter Sunday is one that we tend to pass by quickly instead of lingering in its weight. The title alone, Saturday, the Forgotten Day, should give us pause. A pause that helps us, encourages us, enables us not to rush past the death of Jesus the day before, not to rush into the celebration of Easter, but to consider what this day must have been like for the disciples, the followers of Jesus, as they waited, as they grieved, as they reflected on what had just happened, and as they tended to their hope. This hope that they were holding on to was the very opposite of what the chief priests and Pharisees were considering as they went to Pilate and asked him in Matthew 27, 64. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell people that he'd been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. The posture of the chief priests and of the Pharisees was fear. A fear that they brought with them into the story of Jesus from the beginning. A fear of losing control. A fear of losing power. A fear of the unknown. So different from the posture of those who have already placed their trust and hope in Jesus. For the chief priests and the Pharisees, it was fear in the midst of waiting that determined their next steps. It is not only the disciples, the followers of Jesus, and the posture of their hearts that we should consider on this, the forgotten day, but also us and the intentional ways in which you and I can tend to hope in the midst of waiting.